Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh guys and peace and blessings be upon you all uh, Alhamdulillah for these past 10 days welcome back to the vlog for these past 10 days I've been on the uh, the Virtues tour some of you may know some of you may not know but it's always done in Rabiul Awal it's been going on for maybe like 10 to uh, over 10 years now um, I joined the tour in 2018 uh, and it's like 10 different cities loads of different places um, spreading the love of the Prophet Sallallahu celebrating his life celebrating his seerah uh, reciting poetry, uh, we have shuyukh that's on the tour as well that are giving speeches. But it's all to do with uh, understanding, learning, loving about the uh, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Now, the organisation that organised all of this is called Greensville Trust, a very beloved organisation to my heart. And what I'm about to show you, I'm about to introduce you to, is something that I, I struggle to find the words to kind of encapsulate. So what we're going to do is do a tour about this whole building, it's not even a building, it's like a complex, it's like a, a whole situation uh, going on uh, that is so exciting, it's so new and it's so needed for the Muslim world, not just in, not just the UK but around the world, but it's here in Bradford and uh, I'm going to give you guys a tour inshallah. Behind me is what we call Mustafa Mount. So what is Mustafa Mount? Uh, well it was purchased back in 2021, it used to be an ex-university campus owned by the University of Bradford. Uh, and Greensville Trust bought it uh, back in 2021 and what they're transforming it into is something that any Muslim that hears this is going to be so excited because it's so needed in the world today, in the Muslim world today where madrasas seem to be out of touch with the youth, mosques aren't connecting with the people they need to connect to it's just people that are, what is it called, preaching to the choir what's going on behind me now at Mustafa Mount is something that I'm so excited to be a part of and I guess I've kind of been a part of it through being on the Virtues Tour, which we're going to show you clips throughout this video of the tour so you can kind of see what's happening backstage, all the different cities we went to, Liverpool, Bradford, uh, Oldham, uh, Derby, Peterborough, we went everywhere, alhamdulillah. Um, that's why we were spreading, you know, the word in this, the seal of the Prophet Sallallahu but this is the hub as to where it all goes down. There's also another place that they have in Liverpool called Felicity House. That's been operating for an, an X amount of years as well. Um, they have a nursery there, they have, they, they teach uh, the Fatua as well. So there's like, um, there's Jiu Jitsu that goes on down there. There's Arabic classes, there's Syria classes, everything. That's been going on in Liverpool for a long time. But this behind me is a huge campus. It's not just this building here. This is just one part of it. It's a whole campus, multiple buildings. The building serves many purposes. So behind me, there's a mosque, there's a gym. There's, a, there's living quarters, there's, there's a hotel back there. There's, got, there's going to be a, a roller for young children from for Madrasa where they can learn and also in primary school as well. There's uh, obviously where you're st studying the Deen, studying Arabic, that's everything that's going on behind here. So it's a multifaceted uh, organization that's going on and it's all uh, available to the public, uh, to the Muslims in uh, around the world and in the UK. But if you're close, uh, you know, living up north then, and you don't know about this, well, I can, I can forgive you if you didn't know about it. But after you've watched this video, you know about it now. You can get in contact and see which way uh, you can get involved, inshallah. Uh, but I'm going to now give you guys a tour so I can show you everything that I've been talking about and explain what's really going on at Mustafa Mount. Let's go. So right now the Adhan or Maghrib is being played. Um, all five prayers are prayed here in the road of Mosque. So I'm that's another blessing that uh, Mustafa Man is able to, to deliver to the community. So if you look around you'll notice some of the architecture, uh, it's kind of kind of got a, a gothic feel. That's uh, because back in the 1800s, well, 100 years ago, this used to be a Christian seminary before the University of Bradford bought it. Uh, so you can see with the arches, you know, it's kind of got that Harry Potter feel. So you could say it's like the Islamic Hogwarts that you would be going to on the line. But yeah, uh, you know, you've got the fireplace here. The whole thing is still, uh, it's like it's got modern, but it still has the kind of the the classic traditional uh, kind of yeah gothic feel and that's throughout the whole campus so now we're going to go and see the mosque which is the sort of spiritual heart of the campus uh, and they've got more plans as well to kind of develop it into something even more beautiful but right now it's as beautiful as it is we're going to go and have a look at the, the mosque in inshallah the Roda mosque well, alhamdulillah we just finished the, the Maghrib prayers and uh, oh what, what, a, what a surprise we have some friends that are going to join us on the, the vlog, alhamdulillah. Now you guys can stay sit, stay sit, bismillah. We've got the, uh, well this guy here, don't have to worry about him, you guys don't know who he is. Alhamdulillah. 
Like, introduce you to the channel, Alhamdulillah. Amir, Alhamdulillah, to my brother right here. Alhamdulillah, you're gonna see it on the, uh, on the footage. Alhamdulillah, it's a beautiful Grammy-nominated poet. I don't want to gas him up too much, I know you won't like it, but um, yeah, man, but we, we, let's we just give it a quick tour about Mustafa, man. Obviously, you, you've been on the tour way longer than I have. I think it's been going on for like, what, te- more than 10 years? Yeah, now. yeah, it's like uh, 12 or 13. Uh, what year did you join the tour? The first one. Actually, Sheikh Ibrahim, the only two people that have been on every Virtuous tour is Sheikh Ibrahim and myself. Wow, okay, that's well, a, just flexing on that's you. That's a flex. Flexing <laughs> on <laughs> the <laughs> What can you say about, because you've, I get you've seen more than I have, I joined it in 2018, in terms of Mustafa Mount, Greensville, how it's evolved, because very humble beginnings. I've even seen some of the YouTube videos that were just kind of just look like college campus sort yeah, of things. Yeah. It weren't at the nice, super nice venues that we have now. Yeah. What can you say about the evolution as to where it came from as to, and to where it's at now? All right, it's one of the like, most, in my life, it's just a really beautiful story of growth, Greensville, mm-hmm. because I remember even being in a Felicity house when it was just, their walls weren't even up. And, and here in Sheikh Ibrahim, he's given us a tour of the property, you know, mm-hmm. after they acquired it, but just describing like what it's going to be. And it's just seeing one year after another, after another, it growing into this Slowly thing that was fruition. just a vision in his mind, you know. Mm-hmm. May Allah bless him and preserve yeah, him yeah, and increase yeah. him, protect him. Mm-hmm. And, um, and then, you know, the intention for Mustafa Mount, yeah. you know, so getting Felicity House, where it's, and this other thing about, um, about Sheikh Ibrahim Osiefa is like, he has very high, like he loves excellence, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Excellent, excellence in aesthetic, excellence in functionality, excellence in uh, craftsmanship. And so whatever he's doing, he's going to do, it's just going to be a high level, whether he's taking us to dinner or whether mm-hmm. he's building a building or whether he's making shoes or whatever yeah, the case may be it's gonna be yeah, excellent insane, just yeah. insane you know what i'm saying he's just insane is his mashallah his nature may allah bless him and mm-hmm. increase him in that yeah. and um and so then the intention with getting another location you know like a mustafa mount mm-hmm. but again even in my imagination it was in like what this is and so yeah. when i came in there i uh, acquired mustafa mount again before they had really gotten programs and things like that and just taking the tour just mm-hmm the sheer size of it, the potential, but then taking the tour and him talking about what his intentions are with mm-hmm. this space. Okay, in this place we're gonna, and in this place we're gonna do this, and in this place, so, and what he was describing was even greater than what you actually witnessed. The, 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 yeah, the yeah, physical yeah. location. You're already in all like, oh wow, there's this. I mean, I'll be honest, even as I'm giving this tour, I've actually, some of the places I'm gonna take you guys <laughs> on the store, I've actually not been yet. <laughs> because we've just been staying in like the Niven quarters. It's Obviously there's the mosque. It's huge. It's it is, probably, it's, yeah. And I mean, I, you didn't see in the beginning, we're actually on a raised kind of part of the earth because in the initial part, the main entrance, you have to like drive into like a, you know, sort of whirling um, pathway until you reach the top. So it's, it's like an elevated part of the earth already and you kind of feel that when you're here as well and then there's the whole campus and it's got beautiful greenery and beautiful trees and everything so it's very much connected to nature um and again but it's huge as well all these different campuses all these different buildings that i've actually not even um been to so we're gonna we're gonna actually experience that together it's like uh wasn't it hogwarts Hogwarts. no no i I made that joke already (laughs) (laughs) so you could say it's like the islamic hogwarts (laughs) (laughs) he does it all the time <laughs> yeah i think that people you know here that are not just in Bradford, of course but really in england i mean should really make it's man if i had something like this within here. hundreds of miles yeah. of where i lived yeah i come across the ocean at, at minimum once a year yeah, just yeah, to yeah, be yeah. here but if i lived an hour, two hours, three hours, yeah. four hours away, I could hop on a train and, and get here yeah, between easily. Doha and Asir easy. easy. Bro, I would be here on the regular. There wouldn't be a week I'll, that I'll, I wouldn't I'll, be I'll here. Man, I, I know there wouldn't be a week. I, there, there wouldn't be, I, would, I would be here at least once a week for yeah. some program, for some... I, I think that, that reflects the, the Brits, especially not knowing the, 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 
the blessing and, and obviously if you don't know about it you don't know about it alhamdulillah that's why we're doing this video is to kind of let you guys know but now you're going to have a, a small taste a small insight into this world i know a lot of you people are going to be like oh well it's in bradford and it's so far and i like, listen man said, oh. Amir said if he was here and because he has the understanding and i guess anyone maybe it's just a british thing or whatever of traveling of searching and and, and making oh, a and journey an effort in yeah. for knowledge when it's there i understand if you you know you, you you're disenfranchised from your local masajid and stuff like that but this is not that place and the only way you're going to understand it is if you come here and you know me you know you know we've been on the channel for how many years i'm not uh, i'm not here to gas my here to say this is the thing and it's not the thing come here if this is what you're seeking if it's a lot that you're seeking and if it's the truth and it's the knowledge and the deep this is where i've never i've been all around the world wherever we've been we've been australia we've been south africa all the places that we've been on the vlog i've never found an institution like this doing what it's doing and growing at the rate that it's growing yeah. that's why i'm making this video because i want you guys to be uh, involved in it and I'm going to be involved in it as well. I'm not making this as a one-off video. I'm going to start, we'll talk about that in another video, but I'm going to be very much connected with what's going on here. So I'm going to leave you guys here. I'm going to take on for the rest of the tour. You guys sure. have yeah, fun. We're going to go to jiu-jitsu. Jiu 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 Listen, relax. <laughs> we've, got, we've, got, we've got a lot of places. Okay. <laughs> but just to give you a quick tour about the, this actual, this, so this is actually the, the massage. You've got a few of the shots of the B-roll. Um, up these stairs here on the left is where the women are, which is great because they have this sort of um, open air thing so they're not kind of shut off in a box <laughs> so as it stands this is the current um, setup of the of the massage like I said there are going to be plans for them to change it and upgrade it and there's, there's some real beautiful plans as well there's they have the architects they have involved in it I'm going to leave a link in the description below that's a whole kind of uh, uh, video explaining what this particularly the mosque, the role the mosque is going to become. It's a beautiful uh, vision and project, so check that out in the description below. Right now, like I say, it is, it is nice. It's got this kind of nice little mezzanine place where the uh, sisters can kind of still feel engaged rather than being trapped in like a basement at the bottom. <laughs> you know how the normal mosques are. <laughs> that's, that's in a little room or whatever. Alhamdulillah, you know, the massage is a place for, for men and women and they can feel connected where it would be listening to a talk from the, from the sheikhs or uh, in the Jummah prayer, whatever it is. Uh, so right now there is a staircase there they're going to remove it but no, I'm doing that. and then you can see at the top here they've still got the same i don't know what the specific word for this <laughs> the arches are but it's all very gothic-esque uh but it's beautiful mashallah it's beautiful so now we're in the cafe section um i don't need to go into brief in depth as to what a cafe does <laughs> it's, it's a nice thing to have after you finish the drum prayer on your left you come straight to the cafe you have a coffee do whatever, chill, socialise, talk. There's people in here now that like studying. Um, I just like I say, using what they would norm you normally use a normal cafe for. But alhamdulillah, it's in this religious environment, so it kind of just has that great aspect. I'm just gonna walk you down to the the bookstore, which you know, alhamdulillah, they've got a load of books, and then also to show you the cafe itself, which is open after um, I believe after Juma and the madrasa on the week and the weekends when they have the madrasa, it's open then. Um, yeah, and like I said, this is a beautiful place that it's not just the, it's not just like the mosque where you just go to the mosque you pray you go home there's other things you can do to maintain in that environment rather than it just being the mosque itself so coming down here like it's more of the cafe um, and then we're going to walk to the bookshop which is just down here okay so here we've got a nice little bookstore again it's just a beautiful thing to have you've got the mosque you've got the uh, you know the cafe here and everybody loves loves books because knowledge is a great thing. So we've got a lot of uh, the works of Imam Ghazali here. We also have um, Imam al Haddad. He got a lot of his works here. A lot of these books I'm already familiar with, but it's just nice to see them the way that they're kind of all packaged out. And they're great books as well. You know, it's not like um, you know sometimes you go to the bookstores and all the books are like ten ways to avoid the hellfire. <laughs> It's, these are beautiful books written by real gems uh, within, you know, the, the tradition of the Sawaf, you know, healing the hearts, you know, things that people really need in today's day and age, not to be scared, not to be uh, just, you know, uh, put into a state of, you know, anxiety about, you know, these are the, these are the people that have mastered the path, the path of balance, the Salat al Mustaqim, and a lot of their works, like I say, they're here, we have translations of the Qasid of Bodha, uh, you know, we have obviously the Quran and Tafsir uh, on this side, here is more about to do like with raising family, raising children, um, more about the Sira, books about the Sira here. Moving on down here, we've got the works of Peter Sanders. Uh, you know, some of you guys in the, in the photography world, you definitely know who he is. Uh, and most, a lot of people know who he is as well, mashallah. Um, again, it's just a great, it's a great thing. You've, say you've gone to Jumma, you're feeling inspired, you want to kind of get some more knowledge, boom, come down to the bookstore, 
pick yourself a book. And, and the library is constantly being updated as well. So alhamdulillah, that's a, a great thing. We're going to keep it moving and we're going to push now onto the lecture hall where a lot of the classes uh, are given on the weekends where they have the micro madrasa for the students that are involved in that. You obviously know about it, but they teach level one, two, three, um, things like, you know, Sira, uh, Aqida, things like this. We're going to go and uh, see it now, inshallah. So the timing is perfect because there's actually a class going on right now in there. This is the evening Arabic class for it open up to everybody. Um, and also what we have here is um, they're, they're advertising now for the role of Madrasa. So this is for the, an after school club for, for children that's going to be uh, launching in about a month's time. I want to leave the link for that again in the bio if you want to look at um, inshallah maybe signing up your kids for an after school uh, class. We're going to have a quick, quiet <laughs> look at the class now. This is the Arabic evening class. And uh, this is what it looks like. So another one of the things that they have here at the Greensboro is the Fatua initiative. Uh, and part of that is the Jiu-Jitsu classes, which alhamdulillah, the timing is great again because they're doing it right now. So we're going to have a quick look at the Jiu-Jitsu classes. So that's what we're going to try and do. So basically, we're going to, so one person has to scroll out the way. So one person scrolling, and the other has to go for the table, yeah? Three, two, one. So that, that side of the room, go for the takedown. That side, go for the takedown. Okay, we're going to take off. Take off. Take off. Take off. Take off. Take off. Take Embarrass everybody, so um, obviously I'll flip my for joke. <laughs> Inshallah, but alhamdulillah, it's a beautiful thing, and it's a sunnah as well. So, this is why everything that's connected with Greensville, uh, with everything that's going on here in Mustafa Mount, is, uh, is connected inherently with the sunnah. So, alhamdulillah, if you want to get involved, you can come join the jujitsu classes and then still get your mag repairing on time. <laughs> So as you can see, there's bare things going on. I can't definitely put all of it in one video. So what we're going to do, we're going to break this video, this tour into uh, parts. So this is going to be part one. Join me for part two, where we're going to show you the gym, the health and well-being section, where they've got plans for, well, the gym's already there actually, but they're going to put a spa there. This is a, a hub for like the heart, mind, body and soul. Everything that you can need is here. Um, like I say, we've got spa, jujitsu, this, and all, and I've got so much more to show you as well. There's a whole center, for uh, businesses that want to use offices. There's a part for, like I say, to do with, for the children, the education side of it. That's all going to be in part two. We're going to show you the gym as well in part two. I know that's a lot of you guys can wait for that. We're going to do three plates, 140 kg bench press just for you guys, inshallah. <laughs> Check me out in part two for that. Uh, and until then, salam alaikum <laughs> Oh